one of the most common questions I hear from people that are interested in using Touch OC with Ableton Live is, hey, how can I create a template, a, a version in Touch OC for every single song I have and have Ableton change the page on Touch OC to match that template? Uh, I showed how to do this in Touch OC version one on a previous YouTube video. I had a course showing how to do that, but Touch OC came out with Mark II, the new version of the app. And I just released and created my brand new Touch OC course for from Studio to Stage students. And I wanted to share the particular lesson where I show how to use some of the new features of Touch OSC Mark II to create individual pages and to send MIDI from Ableton Live into Touch OSC so that you can actually change pages. Here's the goal of this, is I could set up a specific page for each individual song in my set. And when I get to that song, it's going to pull that page up on my Touch OSC device so that it's always in sync and I always see just the information that I need in that particular moment. Now, again, this is a preview lesson from the course. Uh, so, you, you, you know, you may be picking up in kind of a different place. Um, I'll talk about how to see the full course after this lesson wraps up. Uh, but let's dive into it. Let's talk about how to change pages in Touch OSC using Ableton Live. So what I've got pulled up is a document, brand new document. I went ahead and swapped uh, our orientation and dimensions uh, so that we're in landscape. And this is really, really simple in Touch OC Mark II to make this happen. I'm going to go to add a uh, new control, and we're going to choose what's called a pager. Um, now, I'm going to make this a little bigger, essentially so that it fills up the entire screen. Okay, and let's go a little taller here. All right, so if we go full screen with this and go to um, uh, our control surface mode, this is what we get. We essentially get three pages within one Touch OSC document. I can touch the top of this to change page one, two, and three. Okay, um, I'm not gonna add, or actually just to show you so we could visually see the difference here and make it a little easier. Uh, let's go to page one and let's add a control within page one. So um, I'm going to go uh, right over here to the right to my document tree. This is an easy way to navigate uh, documents that, that start to get pretty big, but we're gonna go into the document tree. We're gonna click into the pager and then we're gonna click into page one. Okay, so you can see we're viewing page one. We can click here to see page two and here to say page uh, here to see page three. Let's start back on page one and let's just add uh, a button. Okay, we'll make it red uh, and we're gonna stay there. Let's go to page two. This is just so that we could see um, uh, some different things. Let's make this button a little bigger. Okay, and let's change the color of it. We're not gonna do anything with it, but just so that we can visually see that something's changing. Page three, again, we'll, finally we'll add a button here. And let's make it a little bigger. Let's change our color on that one. Okay, great. So now let's use our document tree to go back to our main document. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to stay on this level here and I'm going to scroll down to uh, messages. Let me fold some of these things up so we can see that we don't need control, we don't need pager don't need pages. We don't need values. Okay. So if we look at this in whole, uh, document tree, uh, I am on, um, the pager. Okay. I'm going to scroll down to messages here right now. This is set to MIDI control change. I'm going to change just a few things here. Uh, when we look at this, we see MIDI control change type channel is one. Um, that's great. That, that works for me. Controller is zero. We're going to change from index to constant. This is what CC message do we want um, each page to be assigned to? Uh, or what's the CC message that we're gonna use to control the pages? Let's say it better, that's a better way to say it. So previously I used CC1, uh, I believe, let's go back over here. Uh, I used control change one, yep, for that, and control change two for that fader. So to not mess anything up here, let's make this control change three. And we're gonna leave value is set to page. So our value is gonna come from page, okay, and scale is zero to one. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna leave this just like this is, and we're gonna uh, put this into play mode now, okay? So we have page one, page two, and page three. Now let's go over to Ableton Live. I've already got this uh, set up and connected. Again, we're using Touch OSC Bridge to make this happen. So I'm gonna use this MIDI track here, and we're gonna call this page select. Okay, we're gonna do MIDI 2 and do Touch OSC Bridge. If you don't see that show up, go to Preferences, Link tem Tempo MIDI. Um, on the out of Touch OSC Bridge, make sure you have Track enabled on the output there. Now let's double click to create a MIDI clip. Um, I'm using Live 11.1, .1, so your screen may look a little different. Excuse me, I'm using Live 11. Uh, your screen may, may look a little different, but essentially what we wanna do is go down to our Envelopes box. We wanna choose MIDI Control, 
And then in our control chooser, we want to choose CC3. And the reason we're choosing CC3 is that's what I chose as the, uh, the CC that's going to control our pager. Now let's go here. I'm going to rename this and make this one. And then I'm going to go down to our uh, envelope here. I'm going to create a breakpoint and have that set to zero. Now let's duplicate this. We'll click on this clip to Command D to duplicate, Command R to rename. Have this set to two. Now we're going to raise this up one value. B1, okay. And duplicate this, have this to three. All right, hit enter. And then we're going to move this up one value to two. Okay, so now let's do the old classic side by side. Um, I want you to watch up here. So these gray buttons as they're changing on the iPad, um, I'm going to trigger these MIDI clips here. Let's zoom in a little so you can see this. I'm going to trigger these MIDI clips and I want you to watch uh, what pages they select. So let's do three. Okay, and you see when I select that, that chooses page three. Let's do one, that chooses, chooses page one, and two chooses page two. Okay, so what's nice about this with this pager uh, device is I could go in if I wanted to, I could add more pages. So let's go back to pages here. Uh, let's press this green button. It's gonna say add page. Okay, and you can see now we have page four in there. Press our play icon uh, to do page four. Let's dupl duplicate clip three. We'll call this four. And then let's zoom out so that I can go and move this value up to three. Okay, and now we trigger page four two, one, three. And you can see we can navigate different pages uh, from Ableton Live uh, uh, on Touch OSC. Uh, and so this is really, really cool. And we're using CC messages. That's going to allow us to choose exactly what page we want of our pager device. And then again, we can go through and add different devices to each page. Uh, so again, we've got those building blocks. We're working up to something really cool that we could create kind of our ultimate playback template in Touch OSC. Okay, so that was the final lesson from my Touch OSC preview of my brand new Touch OSC course. Now, like I mentioned, these are lessons, these are previews of lessons. So uh, you may be coming in and going, wait, how did he get there? Or we may be ending and you hear what I'm talking about and you're excited about that. But in order to see all of that content, you need to become a From Studio to Stage student. The way you could do that is head to from studio to stage.com slash subscribe. Now, when you subscribe, you're gonna get access to my brand new Touch OSC course that's available to watch at any time. When does it start? Whenever you want to. When does it end? Whenever you want to. Now, if you're busy, you could download the course uh, on the From Studio Stage app and watch offline. You can watch whenever it's available and convenient for you. But in addition to that Touch OC course, you get access to over 50 other courses as well that give you 24-7 access. Um, and you'll learn about how to run tracks on stage in Ableton Live in the most efficient, flexible, stable way possible, as well as how to use any gear on stage with Ableton Live. It's got a MIDI control, uh, MIDI input or output. If it could be controlled or control Ableton Live, we talk about it in From Studio to Stage. Now, when you become a student on top of getting access to all of those courses, you get 200 credits each month added to your account. Plus you could do different actions on the site that give you even more credits and you can use those credits in the shop. So when you subscribe, essentially you're getting $200 and even more if you interact on the site more often that you can use in the shop to download templates, presets, patches completely for free. But in addition to that, you also get access to a monthly call to from studio stage community with me. Now, if you're to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me right now at the time of filming this video, it costs $500. But if you sign up, you get a call with me plus all of the other from studio to stage students where I'll answer any questions you have about Ableton Live uh, performing on stage with Ableton Live uh, completely for free. That's included in your subscription. In addition to that, YouTube is great. I love YouTube. I love creating content for YouTube. I create a brand new video for YouTube every single day at 10 a.m. Central. If you didn't know about that, 10 a.m. Central every day I release a video. But YouTube videos are great. They only go so far. But what happens if you have a question? You can maybe leave a comment on this video and I'll do my best to get back to you. But you need a community. You need a place, uh, a group of people that are like minded, that are on um, either ahead of you and trying to do what you've done or trying to do exactly the same thing you're doing right now. And that's what you get with from Studio Stage. You also get access to the community where you can ask questions. Um, you can respond to questions from other members of the community. It's kind of like a Facebook group, but without all the annoyance, without all the ads, the spams and, and people trying to get you to buy all their crap. 
app. So you get access to the community, but that's not it. You also get exclusive discounts for subscribers. Like uh, you could purchase Ableton Live at the EDU discount if you become a from studio to stage student. You could get discounts on in ears like this from my friends at All Clear. You could get discounts on MIDI controllers, um, audio interfaces, all sorts of things. All of that is available if you become a from studio to stage student. Um, you could head to from studio stage dot com slash subscribe to check it out. Get access to the brand new Touch OC course as well as everything else we have there. Now, if you're not ready for that, then just hit subscribe to this channel. Post a new video every single day, 10 a.m. Central. I try to give away more content, more knowledge than anyone else. So if you find anyone else that's doing more than me, let me know because I want to beat them and I want to double it. But I post a new video every single day, 10 a.m. Central. I love doing this. We talk about performing on stage with Ableton Live. We have a blast. So hit subscribe, join me there. And if it makes sense, then head to from studiostage.com slash subscribe to become a student. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.